Hello and welcome to Why Not Mint Money. I'm Deepthi Bhaskaran and today I'm going to take you through the process of transferring your EPF money to your current EPF account online. If you're a salaried individual, EPF is one of the most important investment vehicles for your retirement. Both you and your employer contribute to the account and every year this money gets compounded by a rate declared by the authorities. For FI19, the EPF declared an interest rate of 8.65%. A rate of 8.65% makes the product very attractive given the fact that other comparable products are yielding lower returns. For instance, the Public Provident Fund is currently giving a rate of 7.9%. It is therefore wise to keep track of your EPF money and one of the mistakes that many people make is that they get lazy when it comes to transferring their EPF money as they change jobs. Of course, the laziness stems from the fact that transferring EPF money has been an onerous task, but not anymore. With the launch of the Universal Account Number and under the One Employee One EPF Account platform, employees can now transfer Provident Fund money held with the previous employers to the account held under the current employer. Of course, the transfer doesn't happen instantly, but the process has become hassle-free. So here's how you do it. Go to EPFO's website, that's www.epfindia.gov.in and click on Our Services. And under that, click on the tab for Employees. Under the Services drop-down menu, click on One Employee, One EPF Account and you will be redirected to your EPF account. Keep in mind that to avail of EPFO's online services like checking your EPF balance or making a transfer, you need an activated and Aadhaar verified universal account number. If you don't, then make sure you activate your UN and seed it with Aadhaar first. Employees who have this already, the process starts with accessing your EPF account online. Once you're in your account, click on online services and from the drop down menu, select one member, one EPF account transfer request. The page opens up with your personal details and the details of the present account into which transfer will be affected. You need to select the details of the previous accounts that need to be transferred and the employer who will attest your request. So this is what you need to know. When you make a request for a transfer, you need to get the transfer forms attested by your previous employer who will confirm your employment and EPF details. Earlier the process was manual but now with the online system, your employers can be informed and they can attest online. So going back to the web page, it gives you the option to get your request attested by the current employer or the previous employer. Selecting the current employer means the request will go to the current employer for attestation who will then get in touch with your previous employer for confirmation. Choosing the previous employer therefore saves time. Now if your previous accounts are linked to the UN, then you can enter your UN details and the accounts will show up. Even if it's not linked with UN, you can enter the PF account number, also known as the member ID, and if the personal details match, the accounts will show up. But remember, you can add multiple accounts, one at a time. Select the account you need to transfer and then click on Get OTP. Enter your OTP and your job ends there. You can also take a printout of the transfer request and submit it with the employer you choose for attestation as good practice, but it's not mandatory. The job of transferring your EPF money has become very easy, although the process is not instant. On an average, it could take up to 10 days for the transfer to really happen. Now, there's no excuse to leave your money lying in a number of EPF accounts that will eventually fade from memory. Keep in mind that over the long term, the power of compounding works magic and given a rate of 8.65% or a real return of over 2%, assuming long-term inflation to be at 6%, EPF becomes a very important long-term investment vehicle. So make sure you integrate your EPF accounts. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.